Welcome, welcome, welcome back to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. It is good to be back. Got a good one for you today. Keyshawn Davis and Gust, uh, Gustavo Lamos. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, Keish, this is actually a really good fight. You watch the tape and you watch how... Before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. Uh, so you have to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The bookies, the odds makers, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Uh, so join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It's also in that little ticker below. Just $5 a month gets you the absolute best gambling advice. Gets you the ask the bookie anything. Gets you a requested video. Uh, gets you the updated props. Gets you ask the bookie anything. Gets you the absolute best gambling advice for just $5 a month. Uh, also, head on over. Oh, that's a. Uh, the Patreon link is in the description. Uh, also, head on over to carnivorebar.com, carnivorebar.com. Uh, the nutrition of a steak, the convenience of a bar, that's carnivorebar.com. Uh, on the move nutrition, without compromise, use promo code BOXING to save 10% at checkout. Use promo code BOXING uh, to save 10% at checkout, carnivorebar.com. Also, head on over to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. All right, let's get into today's show. Keyshawn Davis and Gustavo Lemos is a intriguing fight. It's a good fight. It's a lot closer and more competitive than what the odds suggest. If you guys don't remember who Gustavo Lemos is, he fought... Richardson Hitchens to an incredibly difficult uh, fight, very close fight. He lost the decision, and he destroyed Lee Shelby. So this is a guy who's been in with world-class fighters. This is a guy that can compete at the highest level, and it's a really, really intriguing fight. And I just want to, you know, take a look at this. Uh, Keyshawn Davies, we, Keyshawn Davis, exceptional amateur career, hyper-athletic, Excellent footwork, excellent feet. Uh, his footwork is, is A+. Plus. Super quick reflexes. He's got mid-power, sharp counter-puncher, nice, sharp, straight, accurate punches. Uh, I don't like him coming forward as much uh, against hitters or, or world-class guys. Uh, so I wouldn't like him coming forward against Gustavo Lemos. If he does come forward, it could be a, potentially be a problem. He is a terrific counter puncher. He should stay off the back foot here as much as possible. Uh, circle, use the ring. He, he does like to come forward, and he can do it because he's so skilled and sharp with his shots. Uh, but with a guy like this, it could be trouble for him. Great twitch. He can make you miss, make you miss, make you miss. He's lightning quick. He's lightning quick. He's highly skilled. He knows how to fight. He doesn't have a ton of volume. But he's got... All of his punches are clean, crisp, technically sound, turns his punches over. He's a great athlete. He gets the most of it. Uh, he's a little, his head on a line a little bit too much for, for what I like. I would like him, his head movement to be a little more, uh, but he's got a good jab, sharp, accurate counter puncher. He's got, a, he seems to have a good guess. He's passed every test so far. Uh, High ring IQ, obviously. He, he does a lot of things really well. I I haven't seen him really tested yet. And he's not proven himself at the highest level off the back foot. And coming forward, I, I think he leaves something to be desired. I think he still needs to figure out who he is in the ring. That's his biggest flaw. Gustavo Lemos, that's not his problem. He knows exactly who he is. Uh, relentless. Pressure fighter, short, five foot five, strong as an ox, stocky, typical short, come forward, pressure fighter. Uh, I'm not sure why they made this fight. You know, good pop, specifically in the right hand, good body puncher, doesn't jab enough for my likings. Uh, if you get inside, you said jab to get inside, you can really start digging to the body. It's good volume, not a lot of head movement. His head's on a line. He rips hard shots. Commits to his shots, throws hard, is accurate on the inside, constantly off the front foot. This is, is a, a difficult, difficult fight for Keyshawn. 
He's got, uh, you know, Keyshawn's an accurate puncher. Lamos is easy to hit his head on a line, but he's got a super durable chin. Keyshawn doesn't have the best power. Keyshawn likes to come forward. If he comes forward, he's walking into, he's making life easy for Gustavo. There's a, there's, there's, there's a lot to this fight that makes this interesting. Gustavo has a great gas tank as well. Can be accurate. He throws short shots. Short, you know, he throws powerful shots and they, and, they, and they land on the button. He throws nice shots down the middle. He can really chop you down, break you down. Can he do that to a guy as good as Keyshawn Davis? It's, it's interesting. You know, ultimately, yes, I think Keyshawn Davis wins this fight. But this fight is competitive and it's close. Like L- L- Gustavo Lemos is going to make fight hell for anybody. Really, he's going to make it hell. And I do think Keyshawn passes this test. And so Keyshawn on the money line, I don't love this bet at minus 575. I think this is far too wide. I like a bet to go over. We don't have props on this yet. For this fight, I would make a one-time bet at one at 575 because I do like Keyshawn to win. But a, a better prop for this fight would be to fight to go the distance or take the over. I like the over on this fight. I like Keyshawn by decision is probably a better prop. Um, depending on what it's paying. Uh, minus 575. I'm picking Keyshawn to win. I would not build my parlay around this. And I just don't like it at minus 575. It's far too wide. Although I do think Keyshawn wins. This is a much closer fight. Keyshawn's basically a 6-1 favorite. That is far too wide. Lemos is a real durable fighter. Real skills, real powerful. He lacks a jab, and he's easy to hit. But he's going to make life hell for you. And I I do think, ultimately, Keyshawn passes this test. But this is going to be the test that we want to see Keyshawn in. So one times bet, I would not – I don't love this. I'd stay away from it. Let me know what you guys think. Minus 575 is far too wide. If you can get a prop on Keyshawn by decision, Keyshawn – uh, or the over, the fight to go to this, I would start looking at those bets because just this is far too risky for minus 575. All right, y'all, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, all forms of social media. Uh, it is what is November 5th, 2024 from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.